I'll see how many people are gonna come up in here real quick. After a long day of work, but Lord, your will be done. Your will be done. Are you on live now? I'm on live right now, baby. Okay. And don't worry, the only thing people can see is me in this big old bright red shirt. <laughs> uh, I'll probably wait for one, maybe two people. Then it's not going to be a long video. It's just something that's going to be a quick shot. Because there's a point that's got to be made. And I pray that in the name of Jesus that the Lord speaks to me what he wants spoken. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, fellow siblings in Christ. I hope all is well with each and every single one of y'all. I don't know what time you guys are going to be looking at this. Y'all might be looking at this now or later. But let's discuss something real fast. There is an epidemic that's been out here for quite a long time now. And it's called identity theft. Chavis, what do you mean, identity theft? Well, here's what it is. It's more than just, hey, somebody's trying to steal my social security number so that they can get their hands on my money and put false things in my name saying I bought a yacht in Miami or something and I've never been to the ocean, for an example. By the way, I have seen the ocean, thank you, Lord. But um, <laughs> the point being made is this. The identity that's being stolen or people that are trying to steal it from you is those that are trying to make you denounce your identity that is found in Jesus Christ. What do I mean? Follow me. They'll have Nowadays, there's people out here who will try to make you denounce that Jesus Christ is Lord. And instead of you identifying yourself as a follower of Jesus Christ or a Christian... They'll have you say, uh, nah, you ain't no Christian, man. Uh, you know what? You're a Hebrew. You're a Hebrew. Now, nah, forget about this Jesus guy. Forget about this Jesus guy. Don't worry about him. That was made by the council in Nakia. That, that's the, the Constantine thing. Instead, you're a member of the Lost Tribe of Israel. You're a Hebrew Israelite. You, you're you're a, a member of that tribe. Yeah. Or, nah, man, don't even worry about that. Don't worry about that. Nah, dude, you're Hotep. You, your name's not Chavis. You're, you're a member of the, the Egyptian thing of Hotep. Nah, you're not even any of that. Nah, 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 nah. You're not that, bro. No, 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 don't listen to that. You know what? You know what? What you really are is you're your own God. That's what that is. You're a five percenter. You're a God. You're a God. You're not a follower of God. You are God. Really, y'all? Uh, I'm just naming three examples of what happens when our identity is no longer being of Jesus Christ, but rather we're following what the world wants to give us. We're about trying to identify ourselves by our skin tone or by our monetary value or identifying ourselves whether we follow Christ or not. Trying to denounce that we're Christian. Trying to denounce this, that, and the other. Oh, his name's not Jesus. His name is Yabba Dabba Doo, whatever you want to have you. <laughs> but, um, Sid Bennis? Sid Bennis. And by the way, hello, John. Hope all is well with you, bro. I'm going to hit you up a little later. Sid Bennis, y'all, our identity is in Jesus Christ. How so? John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but shall receive everlasting life. Our belief in him, there's the identity, our belief in Jesus Christ, is not about identifying yourself as a Republican or a Democrat, or a Hebrew Israelite, or a Hotep, or uh, a Catholic, or SDA, or Black Lives Matter, or the Klan, or... I support this guy, I support that guy. Your identity is this. Jesus created us for us to worship him. Jesus created us so that we should follow him. Jesus created us for his inheritance. I don't identify myself as anything else other than this. I'm a man that needs the Lord. I'm a Christian that needs the Christ. I'm a man that is in desperate need of salvation who 
Our Lord and Savior shed his blood on the cross for 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 you and for I. We don't need to have any extraordinary things. Try not to say that, oh, I'm of the law for this. That don't matter. Try not to say, hey, I'm part of this, that, and the other. Um, I'm this, this, that, and the other. No. Are you following Jesus Christ? Is your soul linked up to the Lord? What you identify with is who you are. Let me give you that thought right now. If you identify yourself as, you know what, I'm the rich. I'm the baddest, I'm this, that, and the other. You're operating in pride. And God rejects pride. He rejects pride. Identify yourself as this. I am a man that needs to follow Jesus Christ. I need the Lord. I need peace in my life. I need the joy of the Lord. Knowing this, that even when the devil comes, my security is in God. Even when the Antichrist raises up, my fear shall not raise up. Even when the storm raises up, the Lord shall raise up a standard. Stay encouraged in this. Jesus Christ is coming, and he will soon be. He will soon be living with us for all eternity. We will be with him for all eternity. It's like quoting what David Wilkinson said. You can have my house, you can have my church, you can have everything. Give me the kingdom. Don't let the world define you. Don't let the world give you whatever identity is trying to give you. Don't let a false religion try to give you what it wants to give you. But rather, find your identity in this. Jesus Christ is Savior. And those who follow him, those who obey him, those who do, do what the Lord of him. For it says in the word, who are my mother and my brothers? Those who do the will of my father are my brothers, my mother, and my sister. If you're of Jesus Christ, that's the identity you strive for. That's the identity you live for. That's the identity you're happy to have. Being a follower of Jesus Christ, being a Christian, being one who loved Jesus Christ above all and everything, including yourself. Hope all is well with each and, hope all is well with each and every single one of you guys. May the Lord bless you all.